And what's up, everybody? It's your boy Uchi, and of course, I am back again, once again. How y'all doing today on this second day, part two of the Crow Gunk special, brought to you, of course, by our boy Mad Luck. And of course, we're here to examine. Oh, that was a nice crit grab. Examine. The playstyle and abilities, utilities of our boy Crow Gunk. Now, Crow Gunk, like I was saying in the last video, do not sleep on this character. As you can see, he can contend with the best of them, and he's got the necessary utilities to do so. I mean, look at that nice counter attack. It doesn't, and he has a nice damage output too. That was a nice little wall splat there. Meeting him at center stage. Okay, guys, nice, uh, a Molga call out. Oh, Intel double lasers. Oh, he's gonna get that's punishable. I'm supposed. I, I assume. Okay, but that was a really good combo there by Crow Gunk. So, notice how Crow Gunk can throw out his own assist move with that chance aerial. I like to call it. And what I mean by that is, Krogunk actually throws out a different projectile every time he does his jumping attack. So, let's see. I'm just gonna block here. I'm trying to go in with that counter attack. Oh, try to manage to make it through. Poison jab. <clears throat> oh, he jumped right over that one. Alright, so it may, may probably was going for a little mix up there. Oh, wow, so that dust bomb literally turned into a tornado. And I don't know how safe that one, that last move was. He landed into a taunting position. <laughs> Krokuk is crazy. Alright, so Krokuk is in, throwing the bomb. Oh! Oh, he hit him again, guys! Uh oh, this is a trouble. Oh, burst for burst. Okay, so I don't know. Oh my god! That would have been disgusting. So he jumped over Sceptile's burst completely and tried to respond with his own burst. So it looks like Krogunk's burst can also be activated in the air as we just saw there. So that was actually really freaking sick. Charizard ain't the only one. So right there, that was... That was his assist right there. Oh, good avoidance of the grab with the laser, single-handed laser. No double time this time. I'm not going to lie. I kind of do like Krogunk's uh, ability to do one or two lasers. All right, he's going to block that. Good stuff there. Ooh, shutting him out in the air. Okay, so both players really having a solid neutral here, just trying to keep one another out in their own respects. Krogan punishing. Oh! Oh, that could have been comboed. That was definitely combo a bull. Good stuff. Caught him in the trap there. Nice little jab, jab. Wa ta ta ta. Reset to neutral center stage, but we're going to go right back to dual phase. We got bars out here. Hello. Alright, Septile picking him out of the air. Alright, let's see what Krogan's gonna do to get himself out of this situation. Amolga looking like the optimal uh, support here. Oh, now nah, this is trouble. Now, what the Kro what this Krogan missed out on doing actually just there was actually to continue to apply pressure by throwing out some more poison. Because that was actually a thing in the last video. If you were guy Oh, that's punish. Yep. Wait, he missed? Oh, man. But nice career cap, though. So he missed on the landing, but I guess that taunt has a low profile properties where Sceptile also missed, and he was able to basically counterattack with a grab. So, really good stuff and showing there. I'm telling you guys, Krogunk is definitely not the worst character in the game. He might be a little more of a joke. Again, don't sleep on the character. All right, to end the video, looks like we got a Pikachu matchup. So let's see how Krogunk fares against the Electric Runt. 
But I, I really can't wait to play this freaking character. Oh my word. It's not even funny. I can't believe Japan really thinks that he's the worst. Look, look, look at that. He got basically instant projectiles to go like to cover the majority of the stage. I don't want to say full screen, but... Oh, now nah, that's a nice combo. So he could combo off his aerial. Good stuff. That's a nice little bomb aerial there to keep... Well, the only problem is, is that obviously he does do self-infliction on that. But it's a good tool, man. Don't tell me there's no cat like that's. T I mean, okay, that's kind of bad. But there are characters that do self-infliction as it is. You got Blaze Gang, got Shadow Mewtwo, you got Charizard. You got characters that are like super power heavy. Characters that are gonna do some self-infliction. Why can't my man Crow Gunk over here do some self-infliction as well? I mean, come on now, he's low key OP. It might be a oh, <laughs> he said you. Freaking stuffed out the Pikachu burst attack. Now he's going to uh, try to apply as much pressure as possible. Alright, going back to dual phase. Let's see what he's going to do. He's still in burst. Send out the Molga. Oh, he says splash. Hit him with that nice splash. I like that. That's like a sudden move right there. That comes out like really quick frames. Oh, stops him out of the air. That's a counter pierce. Good stuff. Good to know. Throwing the bomb on the floor. Oh, Pikachu right back in the bomb. <laughs> now that's a factor. I mean, that's that, that's what makes Krogan very dangerous. But hey, that's what also makes the character just as fun. Trying to go through the the burst. Uh, I'm sorry, the counter attack there, but does not. This looks like Pikachu's round. Looks like it, but let's see if Krogan can turn this around. Okay, so random burst. It's gonna block all of it. And it's still gonna block. Oh, but he let go of the button. Players, you gotta remember. In burst, Pikachu, his, his thunder is two hits. Don't sleep. Better wake up. I like that. Nice little miniature trap there to keep the aerial born Pokemon grounded. Uh oh, nice little mix up by Pikachu. Oh snap. Oh snap. Okay, so we're back in burst. Uh oh. He's gonna get all that. Alright. Not looking too good for Crow Gunk right now. Taking all this pressure. Runs out of burst. What is going on? All this camera tech right now. Okay, so imagine just to make it make his way in. Throwing the bomb down. Throwing another bomb down. Gotta be careful. Throwing those pebbles. He's gonna pay for it. Literally poison jabbed into bomb. So right now, he's playing a little bit on the more of the desperate side, I wanna say. Alright, so throwing down the sludge. Gonna get a debuff. Looks like it lowers the fence. Oh, he almost caught him with that. <gasps> that Remember, that has low profile. And you can attack after it? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that was nice. Oh, that was nice. Oh, this comeback is real. Come on, Tekken seconds left. Come on, Crow Gunk, you got this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Crow Gunk is here to stay. Now, what do we learn out of this matchup? Well... We now know that Krogon can continue to attack even... See, that's a true taunt. See, because when you're taunting and, you know, that's that's going to, like, basically entice the opponent to want to attack you. And what did he do? He basically said, yeet, because he freaking... He, he thought... He made you think you were done. But realistically, that was bait. He went right in and then he kept attacking with those low-profile moves. Bam, bam, bam. One, two, three. Look what happened. Krogon with the victory so with that being said make sure you let me know as well over there what you think about crow gunk and of course if you guys want to see more crow gunk scissor dark cry or napoleon please send the clips my way and i will be more than happy to cast them for you guys we gotta get these english commentating uh voices out here so without further ado have a great day